What's up everyone? I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope that everyone is having a great day, and in my Grey Jedi Theory video from a few days ago, my main piece of supporting evidence for why I think that Disney and Lucasfilm is taking the story that way was my reference to the Journal of the Wills, and today I want to go more into the Journal of the Wills and what it is. The Journal of the Wills is not new to the Star Wars universe, but it is recently new to the canon universe only becoming part of it in 2015 when the novelization of The Force Awakens, written by Alan Dean Foster, came out. First comes the day, then comes the night. After the darkness shines through the light. The difference, they say, is only made right by the resolving of Grey through refined Jedi sight. The Journal of the Wills were an idea that goes back to some of George Lucas's earliest drafts for the Star Wars franchise which George wanted to be able to use it as a plot device for connecting the Star Wars galaxy to the real world. When asked about it, George has said, Originally, I was trying to have the story be told by somebody else. There was somebody watching the whole story and recording it. Somebody probably wiser than the mortal players in the actual events. I eventually dropped the idea, and the concept behind the wills turned into the Force. But the wills became part of the massive amount of notes, quotes, background information that I used for the scripts. The stories were actually taken from the Journal of the Wills. George Lucas told everyone at Star Wars Celebration 2017 that the original Star Wars movie was written for 12 year olds and was intended to teach them life lessons about what was right and what was wrong. And this is something that can be easily seen in the Journal of the Wills. First comes the day, then comes the night. When kids are brought into the world, they are pure and haven't done anything wrong, and the night is when they do something wrong. After the darkness shines through the light. After they do something wrong, they learn what is right. And the difference, they say, is only made right by the resolving of Grey through refined Jedi sight. Basically, this last part of the passage can be summed up into learning from your mistakes and taking what you learned from those mistakes to correct whatever you have done that was wrong. Also, the fact that George says that the stories are actually taken from the Journal of the Wills can clearly be seen in the Star Wars films. First Comes the Day is referring to the prequels. Then Comes the Night is referring to the original trilogy. After the Darkness Shines Through the Light is referring to where we left off at the end of The Force Awakens. The difference, they say, is only made right by resolving of the Grey through a fine Jedi sight. And this last part is referring to the direction that Lucasfilm and Disney is currently taking the story. So they too are still using the journals the same way that George did, and that's why they made this passage canon again, because Disney is very, very good about seeding things throughout the Star Wars franchise. And I think that there is a chance that the book we see in the Last Jedi trailer is in fact the Journal of the Wills. That wraps things up for me here in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.